Friends, welcome to this online celebration at, or maybe I should say with, Montclair Presbyterian Church. And welcome to my dining room table. I've decided to film much of this week's service at my dining room table because this is a communion Sunday. And the sacrament of communion is meant to be a symbolic meal. And when we do communion in our sanctuary, the communion table is meant to symbolize a family table because when we celebrate communion, we do so in spirit alongside the entire family of God. It seems appropriate then that my dining room table should symbolize a church communion table, which in turn symbolizes a dining room table, a dining room table in God's great celestial home. And speaking of God's family, today is All Saints Day, the feast when churches that pay more attention to saints than we usually do pay their respects to the great company of sanctified and holy souls who dwell in heaven. And tomorrow is All Souls Day, or the Day of the Dead in some cultures, when folks call to mind anyone worthy of recollection. Given the beauty of such remembrances, there has been a growing tradition in modern Presbyterian congregations to set aside the first Sunday in November as Remembrance Sunday, when we remember everyone, sinner and saint, those worthy and those not so worthy, and most of us who dwell somewhere in between. It is a day to remember the totality of God's family, the living but mostly the dead, and also those generations yet unborn. To spend this Sunday sitting at a family table is to acknowledge that all those we remember are part of the family, even the unsavory ones, for such is the nature of God's grace. Finally, besides being Communion Sunday and Remembrance Sunday, today also is the last Sunday before an election that has a lot of us on edge. We don't know what will happen on Tuesday, but we're worried. And some of the conflict that has marked this season of campaigning has played out around family tables and will no doubt continue to affect us, especially when we gather with families for the holidays, if such gatherings even take place. And either way, most of us will have to pray for our families, that the circle which will be unbroken by and by will also remain uninterrupted around our tables here and now. But that's enough introduction. Now, if you haven't already done so, I invite you to take uh, time to make your space ready for worship. Pour yourself a, a cup of coffee or tea or whatever else will make things wonderful. Light a candle and because this is Communion Sunday, find some bread and, and a cup of wine or grape juice or even just the coffee that you are having with you anyway. Feel free to pause this video uh, to, to make things ready, as I am doing myself. Dearly beloved, let us worship God.